This is the lecture for Mary Devereaux's article, Moral Judgments in Works of Art, The Case of Narrative Literature. And it's a very short lecture. There's nothing you need to know before you read it, uh, except that uh, as we go through philosophy and learn about some of the topics that it studies, uh, here in this article, we're getting another new topic, and this is aesthetics. So aesthetics is broadly the study of art and the study of beauty and the study of sort of taste uh, and related topics. So what exactly does that mean? All sorts of things. So uh, you can ask, what is art? What is beauty? What makes something art? What makes something beautiful? What makes something not beautiful? Uh, sort of, are there standards of taste? If there are standards of taste, where do those come from? If not, what are the implications? What should we say about art? What should we say about beauty? Blah, blah, blah. Does art have to be made by an artist, or can things in nature count as art? Does something have to be art to be beautiful? And so on. Uh, one of the topics, one of the many topics in aesthetics which people are often interested in is the relation between aesthetics and ethics. And we're going to get some of that in this article because it's about moral judgments of works of art and how moral judgments relate to aesthetic judgments, uh, especially of literature. So we'll see that here. <laughs> 